first of all, you have to figure out how much ice and snow build up in that 500 years. And to do that, I had to figure where the moisture sources were. The main moisture source is the evaporation of the warm ocean, plus movement of warmer air and water vapor in that air from lower latitudes to higher latitudes. You gotta figure out how much fell in the ocean versus the land. So I roughly estimated the average depth of the ice in the northern hemisphere is about 2,100 feet. In the southern hemisphere, which is mainly Antarctica, was about 4,000 feet. And then you gotta figure out how long would it take to melt this? So I used the equation for the energy balance over a snow and ice cover. It's the same thing, you add up the heating factors for the ice and the cooling factors, and you add them all up and you get a change in temperature, change in time. But in this case, the temperature doesn't change. It stays at 32 degrees. So you can convert that into a melting factor. And it melts about 10 meters a year or 33 feet a year and at that rate the edge of the ice would melt in 70 years and the interior of Canada being cooler and with less solar radiation would take more time but that would cool in about 200 years so the total time for the ice age was approximately 700 years uh, based on the aftermath climatic aftermath of the Genesis flood.